Let's see. I'm mad as hell. Not going to take it anymore. What was the name of that movie? Oh. I am. I am so fucking pissed off at Walgr well, Walgreens. The pharmacy department. I cannot express to you how incompetent, how insane it is dealing. I've you know dealing with them. Um, I don't. I don't think you would believe the you know the story that that I tell about them. So, uh, I don't even know where to be, you know, I don't even know where to begin. They're, they're, it's just, it's impossible for me to, you know, they're <coughs> two blocks away from here. We don't have a car. Um, they deliver. <laughs> I think they do. Uh, apparently, they don't want to deliver for me. It looks that way. I don't know. It's, uh, what have I got? Oh, that's that camera. <laughs> so it's not this camera. And that's the cord that I would like to hang myself with rather than deal with Walgreens. Okay, um, let me just tell you this incident, if I can remember it. Well, let me go back a little bit. Uh, a couple months ago, uh, I discovered that I had cat. Well, I knew I had cataracts, but I, I went back, and uh, by that time, it, you know, they need to be worked on. And um, uh, so. I signed up, you know, with a surgeon who's going to do the work. They immediately, they did it really soon, they immediately sent out, you know, a prescription for drops that I'm to put in my eyes after they do the operation. Very important, by the way, but that doesn't really matter, I guess. Um, now, bang, no... Uh, no prescription, you know. Didn't get it. So I finally discovered that they had sent it to a Walgreens, but not the Walgreens that we use all, that I use all the time, that's right two blocks from me. They had sent it to another Wal Walgreens pharmacy. Um, so I'm at the pharmacy that's two blocks from here, and the pharmacist says um, that, uh, you know, it went to another pharmacy, and I, and he uh, said, he said something, I think, about, you know, you can pick it up over there, and I said, well, could you have it and send it over here? And he said, oh, well, I can fill the prescription for you here, and I said, okay, great. He said, now, it'll be about 40 or 50 minutes. And since I can't go 40 or 50 minutes without pissing my pants, I, uh, I said, well, <coughs> I'll come back. And uh, I didn't come back that day. I didn't come back the next day. And I, I forget how long they hold it or something, you know, two weeks or something. And uh, by the time... Uh, they didn't know anything about it, um, so that, that's a that's a small thing, you know. So um, then I thought, well, I got quite a while to, you know, get the um, get the prescription for the eye drops, you know, because it, the surgery was. Going to be quite well, quite a ways off. Going to be all quite a ways off. So anyway, I have prescriptions that are not getting filled, naproxen, and others. 
and they're not getting pers it's weird you know I go to their online site and uh, they have them they don't have them um, uh, all types of what are they are they are they hoarding the stuff or something is there something I don't know you know um, so um, I'm down to one, two, three, four, naproxen. That's for pain. I need it for my, <laughs> my the pains that I'm having, not counting Walgreens pains. So uh, time goes on, and I'm just using up my you know using up my prescriptions. And uh, what's the next? You know, there's more that you know. So anyway, I log into their site. Uh, well, first they were going to fill the prescriptions, and they didn't fill, fill them. Then I log in, and there's five prescriptions listed, and uh, three of them it says uh, need insurance information. Now, I think I've been doing business with them f with the same prescription. You know, with the same insurance card same number and everything for years it's always the same number the only difference is on the card there's a on the back you know there's a date telling you what year it is you know because they look the same every year so uh anyway i go there today and <clears throat> there's three prescriptions that they say they need uh, the insurance information on and then there's two prescriptions that um, that they need the insurance. See, there was I forget now three or two that need the insurance thing. And then the other two or three was what was the thing on that? That's that said that that, that their site that said uh, can't remember now. Three were needed the insurance information and the other two were something else I can't I should remember except my brain melted so I so I'd, I'd logged into their site so then I call their I call their number and uh, after about uh, 20 minutes of waiting or 25 minutes of waiting I finally get in and <coughs> well I'm on hold for I was on hold for a long time then finally a lady comes on and I explain and uh, she says oh okay well she says I see that you want it delivered and she said uh, so You'll need to, to um, um, I said, let, let me give you, the, you know, the number. I said, you know, it's the uh, <coughs> same insurance company that I've always had, and, you know, what, let me give you the number. She says, oh, well, what I'll have to do is I'll send you a, um, I'll send you a, um, a uh, number. So, you know, I'm used to, you're used to that, I'm used to that. They send you a number, and then you give them the number back, you know, in an email or something like that. And then they know who you are, and then they take care of whatever they need to take care of. Okay, so I get the six numbers or whatever sent to me in email. There's, I don't want to show you the email because <laughs> my name's on it or whatever. Um, uh. I could blot it out, you know, edit it out, but let's not do that. Um, so, um, so, um, my son is in the other room talking loud and, and continuously, and the ex-wife is talking to our daughter, and she's loud. So, even though I have headphones on, uh, so, um, so they they send me this email with the number, and then 
uh, you're told that you have uh, 20, what was it? Um, I forget how many, was it 25 minutes? I think it was 25 minutes. You have 25 minutes to, I guess that's in the thing. You have 25 minutes to, you know, give them that number. Okay, they sent an email. There isn't anything. Look, I've been doing this for a while. <laughs> uh, a long time. There's no place there to send them the number. There's nothing. I can't click on this and then enter the number or anything like that. So I call them. <clears throat> I call them back, and uh, I'm on hold for about, oh, it's now that you have to give them this number within 25 minutes. And so I call them back, and I'm on hold to give them the number. Uh, uh, and they keep, first it was like, uh, sorry, uh, uh, you know, it, There'll be a delay. Uh, sorry, there'll be a delay. Sorry, there'll be a delay. Click. Uh, sorry, uh, or there, then uh, one person ahead of you will be with you shortly. 15 or 20 minutes go by of that. And um, then I um, get disconnected and I called back. This time I got in pretty quick, you know, and uh, I told the lady, you know, there's no way to give you this number. Can I just give you the number? Uh, no, no, you can't do that. And she said, um, um, but she says, uh, call, you know, 1-800, um, or, or does she say just call Walgreens and, uh, they will take, they'll help you right away. You can get it, you'll get that taken care of right away. So I call. And I'm not on hold very long with them. I'm just a, a little while I'm on hold with them. Oh, but when they, when they do answer the phone, they say, uh, thank you for calling Walgreens in, uh, was in Ohio or what, where, where, where Utah? Can't remember now where those some some place like that Utah. And then I'm on hold again. You know I'm on hold, and then then I get it automatically switched over. You know, thank it's automatically switches over. As, thank you for calling. I can't remember where it was from. Let's say let's say Utah. Uh, we'd like for you to uh, give us, you know, the uh, uh, one is good and uh, zero is bad. Would you please, you know, and so they ask a question and I give zero. And then they ask another question and I give zero. And then they ask another question and I give zero. And then the, the recording says, thank you very much for, you know, giving us information to enable us to give you better service. And now we'd like to... Uh, 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 do the same thing with was the person who you just talked to and I didn't talk to anybody the person you just talked to uh, the same rating will be you know zero or, you know one is good and zero is not good and I just I know it doesn't do any good I'm just hitting the fucking zero you know and uh, then I finally stop hitting the zero and then they say oh thank you very much for you know <laughs> and I still don't have my prescriptions. Uh, it's 25 degrees. I, I definitely don't feel like walking. I mean, I've spent, you know, major part of my life out in blizzards and eight-hour shifts or whatever, spending an entire eight-hour shift jump-starting cars, you know, or... Uh, uh, helping people get, get their locks open that were frozen or whatever, you know. All kinds of stuff like that. And, but now, I <clears throat> I do not think I can get out in, in, you know, in cold weather. That happened one time. I was working. 
at a small hospital where I worked nine years, loved it working there, and our car broke down, but no problem. Um, I was about two blocks from the hospital. So coming home from working all night in the hospital, as I'm coming home, I'm walking up the, the road in front of the uh, 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 the uh, trailer park. I'm trailer park trash. Uh, so I'm walking up the hill, and <coughs> I, uh, you know, I took in a big old deep breath, not on purpose, but I took it in. It was cold air, and I felt it go down, and <laughs> all the way down, I thought, I am going to pay for that. And now I totally forgot, you know, I totally forgot about it, and about three, four, five days later, I was having chest pain numbness. I was having all the symptoms, and by the way, I, I worked at a hospital for 30 years, and by the way, I was an EMT. I was trained to be an EMT and passed, you know, and I was a CPR instructor, so I knew, you know, the symptoms and all that kind of stuff. So I go to the local hospital, and I go in, and <coughs> uh, I'm not blaming them. Um, anyway, I go in, and uh, they want to give me uh, some narcotics, whatever, and I said, no, I, I, you know, well, you're having chest pain, we need to get the chest pain down, and I said, well, just give me a little bit, you know, so they, I guess they gave me a little bit, and <clears throat> so then <clears throat> they said, okay, we're going to send you down to the main hospital, and we're going to send you by ambulance, so <clears throat> they had an ambulance, and they took me down to the main hospital, and, and uh, they did it. I scanned or something or other. I forget what it was. And they said, well, tomorrow morning uh, we're going to send you down for a nuclear scan, you know, of the, uh, the heart area or whatever. <clears throat> now, before I went down, the nurse there at the hosp main hospital, she said, uh, did they give you a, uh, what was it? Like an aspirin, you know, or a, it wasn't an aspirin, but it, what was it? Can't remember the name of it now. I, I remember the name of it, but I forgot it this time. Anyway, <clears throat> she, you know, she said, you know, did they give you one uh, at the hospital? I said no, and she said, I'm going to give you one now when you go to, before you go down. And she gave me the pill. I went down, <clears throat> got down there, pain gone away. Uh, <clears throat> what it is, I forget the name of it. It sounds bad, you know. Uh, when something like you, your, the outer layer of your heart or something like that, if you, if you're a medical person, I mean, <laughs> why don't you put it below? Uh, it becomes uh, infected or whatever, and it's like having a cold or something like that. Not, it's not a heart attack. It's not really a, a problem. I guess it's a problem if you're certain age or a problem if you have a certain, pro you know, but not a problem. What should have happened is when I went to my local hospital and I knew the ER doctor there, you know, and the nurses, we were like a family there. And because, you know, I was somebody they knew and there was somebody they was worried about, if they had just given me a, can't remember the name of it, the pain would have gone away right away and the ER doctor and the nurses <coughs> the nurses would have known too even <coughs> oh it's such and such I forget the name of it it's just a infection or whatever around the heart and it's not it's not a heart attack or anything like that so um, um, How come I got on that? I was mad at mad at Walgreens, and I'm still mad at him. So I I don't know I have now before Walgreens I I used Walgreens for I don't know how many years <coughs> a whole bunch of years right across the street was a CVS a pharmacy and uh, and I I used them for you know for several years 
And then I got a prescription, you know, a little bigger, you know, bottle. I got a prescription. Well, I got several prescriptions. And I got one. And uh, I forget if there was 90 in there or what. You know, one a day for three months or something. Or whether there was two a day, you know, for uh, 180 or something for, you know. I forget, but I thought, that doesn't look right. So I dumped it out, and I counted it, and I, was only, I only got half of what I should have gotten. So I walked on back d down there, and I said, oh, and the uh, pharmacist said, oh, sorry. And he gave me the rest, you know, gave me the rest of it. And so the, I guess it would be two or three months later, mm -hmm. I get the prescription filled. And uh, it was okay. And then two or three months later, I get, and it's the same, you know, <laughs> I look at it. So I count them, of course, and then I go back, and uh, he gives me, you know, the rest. Now, it wasn't a narcotic. It wasn't something he was, you know, trying to uh, use, you know. A, uh, so I guess he can't count. <laughs> and so I switch to Walgreens. And Walgreens was okay for uh, X number of years, no problems. And then I noticed, and Darlene, the ex-wife, she also commented about it. Their, you know, their computers, or you know, that it's something wrong with you know that the prescriptions are, you know, I forget all the things that it, you know, that it was things just not right. There again, not uh, we weren't. Uh, you know, we weren't um, shorted on any medication or anything like that. So, um, so Walgreens, it's it's when their uh, computer department or something it it just you know, I mean it, the service is just unbelievably bad why anybody would do business, I'm sure we're not the only ones that, that that's happening to. So why would anybody, so if you, um, of course it depends on where you live and all kinds of stuff. Um, now, recently when Walgreens has gone so bad, uh, Amazon pharmacy, you know, and uh, became available so I called, you know, I called out there and I said, you know, I have such and such an insurance, you know, do you take the insurance? And, oh, yes. And I said, okay. So I uh, signed up with, you know, the Walgreens here that that was, I was doing business with Amazon. And then after a short period of time, Amazon says, now, what's kind of funny with Amazon prescriptions, you know, I have insurance, but three or four of my prescriptions were, they didn't, okay, they did not take uh, such and such prescriptions, but uh, three or four of the prescriptions that they did take, that they would take, were cheaper without insurance um, were cheaper without, you know, I could get them cheaper there, but with, I, I wouldn't need my insurance. <laughs> uh, but they didn't take the others, or, you know, well, they would do them, but, you know, I would have to pay, pay for them rather than paying a small amount. So, but Walgreens, what happened went up with the prop my problems and the ex-wife's problems began with them. Their computer system was updated. Their uh, things changed, and it was it was bad. I could see, you know. I could see that they had a problem, and uh, it sucks. Now I need the prescriptions that they've got five of them. And, uh, <clears throat> but I don't want to walk down there and have my heart get, you know, my, 
a breath of cold air or whatever, and I don't want to have that, you know, go through that. And uh, so i am wait a day or two. <clears throat> Did I mention that? Yeah, I think I did mention that. I think I mentioned that the eye drops or whatever. Yeah, I did. That went to the wrong pharmacy and that kind of stuff. So, my advice to you is don't use Walgreens. But I understand maybe you're in the same situation, you know, that we're in. Darlene's in a wheelchair all the time, and I, I'm not in good health. We don't have a car. Um, so, but anyway, don't do business with, with Walgreens. Did I tell you, maybe I didn't get that far, you know, okay, when I finally got through to Walgreens, down as, you know, they said call, you know, uh, call Walgreens, you know, call them, and, uh, it wasn't a one, I think they said, uh, call Walgreens, <clears throat> as if you'd call, you know, uh, change, you know, the numbers to what, you know, the letters from the numbers or whatever, I called, you know, and I got, I got a Walgreens, yeah, I did, you know, exactly, because I remember telling you now that, you know, I didn't know which one it was, and then, <clears throat> yeah, I told you about that, you know, I got to the, end of the, I didn't get any help at all, and then I got to the end of the thing, and they wanted me to grade their their service, and I, just, you know, one was good, and zero was bad, and I was fucking punching, punching, punching that zero, and then I finally stopped, and then, boom, you know, it says, oh, thank you very much for giving your, you know, <laughs> stuff to us, and, uh, <clears throat> Then they wanted me to rate, you know, and I punched zero, 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 and then they, oh, thank you very much for, you know, and then that was the end of that. So, do not do business with Walgreens. They suck. And I don't think it's because this was Oregon, I think it was Oregon, that they, <laughs> that they had, you know, and you could tell they were set up differently. Uh, I'm not saying differently good. I'm saying, you know, that they somehow they get paid for, uh, you know, whatever they're doing. So, you know, if you own stock in Walgreens, sell it. If you're thinking of investing in Walgreens, don't do it. Uh, what can I tell you, you know? God help us. Um... The, the, you know, the business end up, you know, this is supposed to be a capitalist country, God help us. Uh, now, no, I do not want a communist government, you know. I'd take a, you know, a socialist, uh, or not, let's see, what is, what would Sweden, and what would you call that, Sweden, Denmark, even the UK, even Canada, our system is so corrupt, and that's Democrats and Republicans both. The way they, you know, the way they do things, it's uh, it's just bad. You know, they're sitting there, whoever's a, you know, a congressman or a senator or whatever. They're not thinking about doing the best. They're not even thinking about well, I'll do a little bit for my my people. You know in my state or my community. They're not even thinking of that. They're just thinking of putting money in their pocket or advancing, you know, to become a, instead of a congressman, to be a senator or something. You know, they're, that's just all, the system is totally, has totally collapsed. And you just look at the political, you know, look at the type of people, you know, that we're getting now you know, for president. My God. So, uh, now I don't know if, if you 
well, maybe you should go to school to be a pharmacist because I think I've heard that actually they need pharmacists really bad. Um, now, a person who's working, you know, under be a pharmacist assistant or something, whatever that is, I don't think you should do that to get do something else because I think they're working their ass off and they're just they can't they're not playing this telephone game because they want to see if they can make you have a stroke or you know <laughs> or do a mass shooting or something at a pharmacy that's not it they're, they've got to be overworked and uh, probably maybe they're cutting staff you know when the work is increasing and they're probably cutting staff or whatever so anyway that's my advice thank you very much